In a previous video, I mentioned that the Ming Dynasty and the Northern Yuan Dynasty existed at the same time for over 200 years. During those years, the Ming and the Mongolia didn't have a good relationship. Military battles frequently happened between them. The Emperor Yingzhong of Ming was captured by Mongolia Kehan in 1446 and stayed in Mongolia for about one year. Well, in the Qing Dynasty, the Manchuria rulers seem to have great relationship with Mongolian nobles. Starting from the later Jin, Manchuria rulers built close relationships with Mongolian nobles through political marriage, money, and titles. In the Qing Dynasty, except for four Han Chinese who got the title Qin Wang, the first rank prince in the early Qing Dynasty, no Han Chinese was allowed to get the prince title, no matter what contributions they made for the country. But the Mongolian nobles could get the different levels of prince titles from the Qing rulers. Unfortunately, Qing Empress Candace was only given to the Mongolian nobles. With Qing rulers completely control the whole China, they needn't the military support of Mongolia anymore. Meanwhile, they worried Mongolia military powers threatened the central government. So Qing emperors made a Mongolia people extinction policy. They intentionally significantly decrease the Mongolia population. Starting from Kangxi's time, Qing emperors built lots of Tibetan Buddhism temples in Mongolia and used different benefits to attract Mongolia males to become the Lama. Now, some researchers estimated that about 35% to 65% Mongolian males became Lama. At that time, a Mongolian family at least had one boy became Lama in the temple. Because Lama were not allowed to get married, so they couldn't have descendants. Another serious problem was because too many males became Lama, lots of Mongolia girls couldn't have normal marriage. In ancient time, women hardly make a living by themselves. Many girls had to become some businessmen's temporary concubines or temporary mistress. Because of the unhealthy physical relationship, venereal disease quickly spread in Mongolia, which further decreased the population. In early Qing Dynasty, the population of Mongolian peoples were about 10 million. But in 1912, the year that the Qing Dynasty ended, the population of Mongolia peoples decreased to about a million. You should know, in Shunzhi's time, because of the wars, there were about 50 million people, including Han Chinese and the Manchu. But in the very late Qing Dynasty, the, po the population increased to over 0 0.3 billion. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.